As Izumi leaves for his school, his mother tells him to beware of random accidents, but he trips over seven seconds outside and gets into all sorts of little accidents before helping an old lady carry her stuff, making him late, so he hurriedly runs at full speed and reaches his girlfriend, Shikamori on time, apologizing for being late after which she saves him from an oncoming truck. As they head to school, he prays that they'll be in the same class again this year and gets his wish granted after which their friends Nekozaki, Hakimitsu, and Inazuka cheerily approach them, saying they're in the same class as well. In class, the teacher asks the seniors to introduce themselves, but Izumi bites his tongue and later gets saved from a duster attack by Shikamori. He thanks her and pats the dust off her hair after which she blushingly leaves to clean it. When she's gone, the other classmates approach Izumi, wondering why someone like Shikamori is going out with him which she hears from outside and chooses to ignore, but gives them a menacing look while walking away with him. After school ends, Izumi decides to go hang out with Inazuka so Shikamori and her friends decide to join them as well. They head to a bowling alley and decide that whoever loses has to treat the one with the highest score so Izumi asks Shikamori if she's gone bowling before, but she replies that she hasn't, which he relates but embarrassingly walks away as she ties her hair, seeing which Nekozaki and Hachimitsu advise her to be purposefully bad at bowling for Izumi to call her cute. Inazuka confidently decides to go first but doesn't get a strike. The same goes for Nekozaki, who angrily reacts to not getting a perfect score and Hachimitsu easily gets a perfect shot, while Izumi's ball keeps diverting and hitting three pins only. As Shikamori nervously walks forward, thinking that she wants Izumi to call her cute, he happily cheers her on after which she gets consecutive perfect shots and wins by a landslide. Later as the two are walking back home, Izumi brings up the topic of what the classmates said and asks why she helps him so much to which she asks him to just stay by her side for which she'll help him as much as she can. Hearing this, Izumi blushingly professes his love for her, which she embarrassingly reacts to as the two start walking again. Izumi and Inazuka look at the timetable and see that they're scheduled to play football, while the girls are going to play volleyball before Shikamori and her friends enter the classroom. She takes a look at the timetable and says they're playing against a strong team even when they've got Nekozaki on their side, who's the volleyball ace. Seeing this, Izumi fires up and decides to support her and show off his cool side but sees that their matches are overlapping so he takes her hand and pronounces that he'll cheer her on even if they're far apart, and tells her to not get hurt which she starts blushing to. As the football match starts, Nekozaki and Shikamori watch from afar since their match is going to start after 15 minutes but Izumi still seems to be struck by his misfortune and constantly trips over himself, unable to kick the ball before it comes flying at him. Shikamori and Nekozaki try to hurriedly warn him to block it, but he seems clueless and gets his face slammed by it, after which she hurriedly takes him to the nurse's room where he says that he wants to protect her too, so she replies that she isn't going to the match and will hide under the covers with him before teasingly walking away, remarking to herself that she got way too aggressive. Nekozaki greets the opposing team's ace, Kamiya, as the match starts but her team isn't able to get a lead on them. Izumi and Inazuka arrive to watch after losing their match, and as he sees Shikamori's stressed expression, he passionately cheers her on seeing which she ties her hair up and starts doing her best, and a while later, the team finally wins the match as Izumi remarks that Kamiya is playing against them. After the match, both Nekozaki and Shikamori seem to have grown fan clubs since a band of girls always follow them around. At class, Izumi wistfully remarks that he can't hang out with her anymore before being saved from a ball by Inazuka who takes the hit for him. After school, a heavily bandaged Inazuka who saved Izumi from man accidents bids him goodbye as Izumi slowly walks out and trips over the staircase, but Shikamori saves him and blushingly says she wants to go with him as well to which he says he was going to wait for her at the entrance anyway, so they both decide to go home together as always. In class, Inazuka offers Izumi some movie tickets he gets since he can't go because of work and tells him to go with a friend. Hearing this, Shikamori intensely stares at him but darts her eyes away when he notices so Izumi happily walks towards her and asks if she'd like to go watch a movie with him, which she enthusiastically agrees to so they decide to go the next day. At home, Izumi excitedly remarks that he's going on a date with Shikamori, but gets ready to prepare for every possible outcome since their last two dates were cancelled because of a sudden storm even with the weather report showing it sunny and him dropping his wallet and losing all his allowance. Meanwhile, Shikamori keenly tries to learn how she can look cute and tries out different dresses until her elder brother enters and seeing the mess wishes her luck. The next day, Izumi leaves earlier than usual, prepared for all attacks and helping a child and reaches the planned spot on time where he compliments her on how amazing she looks. At the movies, he's wondering which one they should watch, thinking on if a romance would put on an attractive mood, enabling them to share their first kiss, or if she likes action and decides to leave the last choice to her so she goes for a horror which she nervously agrees to. As the movie goes on, 
He keeps getting more and more scared, so she warmly holds his hand. After the movie's ended, she calms him down, so he thanks her for helping him get through it. They go admire a pie which seems expensive, but he reaches into his pocket for his wallet and finds that it's dropped again even with the extra string he attached, so he apologizes to her as they're walking back but run into his parents who invite Shikamori to their house to eat. At dinner, she saves Izumi from an oncoming fork and goes to clean the dishes with his mother while he falls asleep from eating too much. While she's there, Izumi's mother says she hopes Shikamori doesn't stop helping him since his misfortune might be problematic for her, but she replies that she's never thought of it that way and has always admired him for being kind and cool. Later, Izumi's mother wakes him up to walk Shikamori back home so he gets up. As they're walking back, she finds out that he enjoys buddy films, so they decide to watch one dropping next month. As Izumi's peacefully sitting in the shade to protect himself from the harsh sunlight which affects him more than other people, his friends tell him to come outside since they're discussing where they should go for the summer holidays, but as he starts to approach, a bird smacks onto his head so Hakimitsu covers him with her umbrella, and Shikimori hands him a water bottle. They wonder if they should go to the sea as Izumi inwardly remarks that he won't be able to help them with anything since he gets sunburned but Shikamori says he'll have a problem with it, so they decide on a river which is a far cooler spot since they want to go to a place everyone can enjoy but wonder if that'll be problematic for him as well so Shikamori tells them to not worry since she'll be there which brings forth a round of teasing from Nekozaki. They head to the class and see their exam week is starting so they head for the mall later to but swimsuits but Izumi had reluctantly passed seeing what Shikamori had decided to do so too, but she notices him looking at an athletic woman wearing a skimpy swimsuit and rushed off to find one for herself. As she's deciding whether or not she should buy it, Nekozaki finds the reason behind it and says she's really competitive reminiscing on when they weren't friends. As she and Hachimitsu had been standing in a hallway, Shikamori had passed them by and she'd immediately seen how cool she looked and had pondered on how she should approach her with Hachimitsu. As a basketball match had started, Shikamori had quickly taken the ball from her and dunked a ball seeing which Nekozaki had become competitive and started to give it her all but Shikamori had refused to back down with her competitiveness being fueled even further when Izumi had started admiring Nekozaki's shots. After the match, Nekozaki had complimented Shikamori for her skills and the two had decided to have lunch together sometime. As the three come back after buying what they wanted, Izumi tries to find out what she got but she embarrassingly keeps the bag out of his reach. Later, Izumi depressingly remarks how all his pens broke before the test started, wasting a lot of his time and slowly walks back to his house. At night, Shikamori gives him a call to comfort him, and they share a heartfelt moment before going to sleep as she blushingly buries her face in her pillow while her elder brother tries to tell her to stop. In a glaring hot day, Izumi meets up with Shikamori and they head their friends where the three are arguing about their grades in the exams. Once they're all there, they happily decide to have as much fun as they want. When they arrive at the river, Inozuka remarks it's a blessing that the weather's fine despite Izumi being there and they get ready to barbecue the meat. He offers to cut the vegetables but has zero experience with using a knife so Izumi takes it from him and, ignoring the other's warnings, starts slicing the vegetables up perfectly explaining that he often cooks with his parents. Later, Shikamori makes some alajillo for him which he happily takes a bite of, remarking how perfect she is but instantly falls on the ground upon tasting it. He refuses to stop though and finishes the entire meal because of how hard she worked on it. Once they finish eating the meat, he makes them all s'mores by pressing marshmallows and chocolates between crackers for dessert. Once that's done, they head to the river for a swim, but Shikamori nervously stays behind. A while later, Izumi notices a child being carried away by the flow and rushes to save her, managing to prop her onto the rocks above, but as he's about to get out from the water, his foot suddenly cramps and he falls back inside, starting to drown because of being unable to move it. The others worriedly look around from him and find him slowly drowning in the river, so Shikamori wastes no time and jumps inside as the others wonder what they should do and quickly saves him, asking why he didn't call her. As they return, the girl thanks Izumi for saving her and kisses him on the cheek as Shikamori wistfully watches from behind. Later, as they all go to the lower waters, Izumi tells Shikamori that her swimsuit is really cute which she blushingly reacts to. Later. They go buy souvenirs and ice cream which the two offer each other but Inazuka ignorantly bursts in and takes a bite off Izumi's cone, after which Shikamori starts squabbling with him. Later, as they're on the train back, Shikamori falls asleep on Izumi's shoulder but notices that he's napping over Inazuka's when she wakes up so she tips his head on her shoulder and caresses it with her hands. Izumi's lying on his couch talking to Shikamori about his sunburn and how he can't go outside for a while when he notices news of the fireworks festival on his TV and says there's some place he wants to go, assuring her that his sunburn will heal in a day, so they agree to go to the festival together. 
Later, he tires putting on his father's old robe as his mother recounts her personal experience before his father suddenly remembers something and tells Izumi about it. Meanwhile, Shikamori is having trouble tying the band around her yukata, so her brother wearily gets up and does it for her in a second. Izumi leaves his house, wearing his new yukata, checking all the preparations he made along with the three wallets he's carrying this time making it so he'll be fine even if he drops two of them. He meets up with Shikamori in the long queue, and the two blushingly compliment each other before heading inside and starting their long day. They head to different stalls and have a lot of fun before Izumi buys cotton candy and asks Shikamori if she wants anything, saying he always asks her for help without doing anything for her to which she says that's not true since she's always disliked sweet foods but has recently started to like them because of someone. They head to another stall where Izumi tries to get her a wolf toy but is unable to hit anywhere near it, so she takes the gun from him and knocks down the entire line of toys, sitting on the shelf, after which the shopkeeper happily hands over the toy and wishes them a good day. At night, they run into Inazuka, Hachimitsu, and Nekazaki who are also there so Izumi competes in a goldfish catching competition with him, but can't win after which Shikamori takes over to avenge him, but is also unable to win so Nekazaki takes over and Hachimitsu signals her and Izumi to go watch the fireworks, but her slippers break on their way so Izumi decides to take her to a private area his father told him about by carrying her on his back all through a long road and a steep staircase, even with her asking him to stop so he doesn't get tired. When they reach the place, they share a tender moment, watching the fireworks before Izumi decides to carry her back down but trips on the stairs so his father suddenly arrives from behind and carries them both as his mother walks alongside them, explaining that they've been sitting behind them the whole time much to the embarrassment of the two. As the school is getting ready for their cultural festival, Izumi who's sewing the clothes gets complimented for doing it so quickly and enviously notices Shikimori enthusiastically talking with her group, remarking that they talked to each other a lot during last year's festival, since they were in the same group but he won't get much of a chance this time, a girl from his group asks him how to sew in a particular way so he explains it to her hearing which Shikimori wistfully looks at him from afar and takes her jealous anger out on Inuzuka who was passing by, carrying boxes who asks why it's his fault. As the cultural festival opens, Izumi draws the ominous number 44 card and heads to the animal cafe his class has organized where he's dressed up as a lion but quickly gets pressurized as the amount of work keeps piling up and trips over a spare paper. But Shikimori arrives in time, wearing her rabbit costume, and saves both him and the ice cream he was carrying. As the two are walking back home, he tells her that he received the three-hour shift at the morning, which is literally the worst time. The next day, he heads for the library and happily greets Kamiya there as the two start shoving books and explains that he was in the class next to hers and started volunteering in the library where she was already working, which led to them becoming friends and says she's always been really popular among both boys and girls and is a model student. As the two discuss different things, she remarks that he started going out with Shikimori, the popular girl, and starts bombarding him with different questions related to his relationship with her, so he sits down and starts explaining that they received the same card number at the cultural festival, reminiscing on how he thanked God for giving him the card when he was getting ready to confess to her, but when the two had blushingly went to the most popular part where the couple has to take a picture together, he lost the card and had to look for it for over two hours with her, but they come back empty-handed, so the chairman had understood what he wanted and made him a new card. Later, he confessed to Shikamori behind the gym who'd instantly embraced him. In present day, Shikamori desperately tries to find the person with the same number as Izumi to exchange cards with, but is unable to and dejectedly walks back as a card on the top shows Kamiya's name with the number 44. At the library, Kamiya and Izumi are discussing a recent fantasy romance movie, so he asks her if she was asking about Shikamori because of it, which she agrees to before Nekozaki enters the room and asks to borrow Kamiya for a moment outside. Shikamori asks her to please exchange cards with her since number 44 is also the person she loves, which Kamiya agrees to and hands it over. Izumi comes outside and says they should just come inside since it's hot here, so Shikamori hurriedly hides the card and says she came to pick him up to which she says he hasn't completed his shift yet and refuses to dump all the work on Kamiya, surprising her. Once he's done, he cheerily thanks Kamiya and leaves after which she ties her hair and goes to her class who excitedly greet her and start getting more customers because of her presence. As she goes around serving the food, the boys of her class romantically wonder if they should confess to her. Later, as she's standing alone on the rooftop thinking of Izumi, Shikamori slowly approaches her and hands the card back, saying it's unfair because of what she realized after seeing her talking with Izumi and that she can't be a bad person. But Kamiya politely refuses to take the card back before slowly starting to cry, saying she won't ever get close to him again. But Shikamori rips it to shreds and pulls her in for a hug, saying she's glad that she really is a nice person, 
Once she's stopped, she tells Shikamori to get going since Izumi will probably be in an accident by now so she smiles and leaves. Later, Izumi inwardly remarks that he was able to get a good present for Shikamori's birthday and their first year anniversary and goes for dinner with all the classes after which he takes Shikamori to a park and gifts her a necklace which he ties around her neck before she tearfully presses their faces together, saying she's never letting him go. As Inazuka enters the classroom, Ekozaki tells him that Izumi won't be coming today since he's ill, but he doesn't seem surprised by this and shows them his text asking him to copy notes from him seeing which Shikamori angrily stares at him, saying he didn't tell her about it. Later, he miserably sits on his desk wondering why Shikamori always sees him as a rival when it comes to Izumi and expresses this to Nekozaki and Hachimitsu who tell him of when she talked about him in a positive way saying how he always hung out with Izumi, ate lunch with him and copied notes for him before suddenly becoming angry and saying she can do it way better. After school, Shikamori asks Inozuka if she can visit Izumi with him which he puzzlingly agrees to and Nekozaki says she's got other stuff to do but commands Hachimitsu to follow them and deduce what they're doing. As the two move to a convenience store, Shikamori gets some snacks for Azumi, but also gets a packet of grape-flavored snacks, especially for Inamizuka since he likes them. As they're leaving the store, they run into Hachimitsu who transforms into her detective attire and explains that Shikamori always complains about her brother and how she unintentionally comes off as rude to him, which is why she sees Inazuka as a brother figure. Later, Shikamori goes to the mall with Nekozaki and finds out that Izumi will be back to school in a week before they see Kamiya standing in a bookstore so Nekozaki instantly approaches her and asks if she wants to hang out with them which she warmly agrees to. They visit a toy store and then admire puppies, both of which Nekozaki has no interest in. Next, they head towards a photo booth where they hobbly pose for a photo that looks like a CD cover and head to play basketball where they come across two girls who decide to duke it out to decide who gets the court hearing which Shikamori and Kamiya instantly become competitive and destroy the girls by a landslide. Once the day's done, Kamiya and Shikamori decide to meet together next time as friends and she walks back home with Nekozaki and they both share a moment as she asks what changed her to which Kamiya apologizes and says she hopes to one day tell her so they both start happily running with each other and Nekozaki inwardly remarks that she can take as much time as she wants but she still hopes to one day see her smile from the bottom of her heart. As the time for the sports festival draws near, the teacher decides that they're going to draw lots for the mixed relay races since no one wants to participate in it and Izumi unsurprisingly gets chosen after which Hashimitsu also gets chosen despite her not wanting to take part in sports at all. Seeing this, Shikamori uses her charm to take the card from a boy who got drawn for the race and Inazuka also volunteers along with Nekozaki so they all sit down at a table and start discussing about it as Izumi inwardly remarks he feels that this year's sports festival will be the best one he's ever experienced. They all head to the racetrack to get some practice in and increase their skills for winning the mixed relay match but their chances are immediately shown as Hakimitsu starts running with the speed of a toddler and Izumi trips over a rock immediately after receiving the baton. Still, after practicing constantly, they're able to maintain a flow and decide that they'll be able to win with the speeds of Inazuka and Shikamori and head back to practice their other sports but Izumi asks Hakimitsu if she'd like to stay to practice a bit more with him which she agrees to. A while later, they both wearily fall down on the ground and Izumi apologizes for having her practice so much but she replies that she hates participating in sports but is working hard this time for herself since she has to do it for all her friends who are working alongside her. At the sports festival, Izumi and Inazuka get ready for the mock cavalry battle as Shikumori admires how cool he looks but his team still loses. Next, Hakimitsu goes for the girls' beanbag toss and manages to get all the balls in the net but takes too long to gather them all and isn't able to get first place. Next, they all get ready for the mixed relay race and Nekozaki manages to get good head start and passes it on to Hakimitsu who trips halfway but still passes the baton to Izumi who passes it to Shikamori who gets them to second place after which Inazuka wins the race. After that, Hachimitsu thanks them all and inwardly says that they're the friends she's proud of. Izumi's mother calls him to say he'll be late for his exam but his father says he's already left as he hurries to the school and turns a corner. He crashes into a bicycle and slowly says he's used to it. The nurse tells him that the field trip is coming and he should attend it, so his friends ask him to join their group and that his misfortune won't be a problem but a large teddy bear falls on one of them after school and Izumi suddenly falls ill, making it so he can't go to the field trip. He goes to the shrine and asks God if his misfortune will ever end, asking him for someone or something that'll at least protect or help him with it. Shikamori annoyingly visits the mall with her equally annoyed brother and both go different ways so she heads to a clothing store, wondering what look she should go for since it's been some time since their last date remembering how Izumi had proposed that they should go on a date again, 
since they hadn't talked to each other in a while after which he'd showed her a video of an amusement park in which along with other things it showed a couple kissing seeing which she'd instantly agreed to go there. She dejectedly walks out the store since she couldn't decide after all and sees two girls asking her brother out but saves him from the embarrassment and says he's really shy as she remembers how she followed him around back then but never received any acknowledgement even when the other girls praised her abilities, so she transformed herself into a cute girl after reading a romance manga. But on the first day of middle school, she had to climb up a tree, which was the opposite of what she wanted to do for a boy who'd lost his admission ticket. When she entered high school, she met the same boy again who warmly thanked her for what she did, and that he's happy to see her again after which she blushingly asked for his name which he'd said was Izumi. Now she walks back and admires a shade of lipstick, but her brother gives her another one to use and later when she's getting ready to leave, finds the shade she liked on her table which she puts on before heading out hearing which her brother slowly grins. As Shikamori meets up with Izumi, he becomes awed by the formal dress she's chosen this time, and they first head to a costume store where she doesn't get herself a headband since it looked odd but gets a vampire collar, which goes perfectly with her coat, that they head to a ride depicting the story of Briar Rose, the Sleeping Beauty and find that it's a 90-minute coup but they still line up for it. As they're waiting, he asks if she has a dream to which she says she's always dreamed of a perfect romance, but that dream has come true now. Even though all the other people find the wait to be too long, time flies for Izumi and Shikamori who happily enter the ride but Izumi falls asleep halfway through seeing which she starts getting closer but instantly backs away when their ride ends. Later, they head to dinner but find that their course meal was accidentally given to someone else so they upgrade them to a fancy dinner where the two feel out of place. As they're eating, the two share a tender moment as Shikamori says that he's all she has her eyes on and asks what he thinks to which he also embarrassingly says that he sees her as the prettiest hearing which she starts blushing. Later, the two get on a boat and try taking a picture, but the power suddenly goes out after which Shikamori says there's nothing that can capture their eyes for now hearing which Izumi gets close to comfort her and kisses her cheek before they fall over each other but he goes on and says he loves her and will always be with her hearing which she warmly embraces him as the power comes back on but asks him to let her do this for a bit longer. The next day at school, Inazuka asks a blushing Izumi who's trying to cover his face what happened, but he inwardly remarks on how aggressive he was with her last night. Meanwhile, Shikamori keeps blushing and doesn't tell Nekozaki and Hachimitsu what happened, but finally gives in and says he kissed her on the cheek hearing which Nekozaki remarks that's all that matters as long as they're both happy. As Izumi meets up with Shikamori in the morning before she kicks away a can coming towards him, Sugi inwardly remarks that his girlfriend is cute and also the coolest girlfriend in town before they both walk to school. 